pretty focused. Edmonton's on him. They want him to go to the dub. He doesn't want to. He wants to play right here. I think if we don't if we don't get him playing with us, he'll probably be gone somewhere and we'll never see him again. But he's I think he's earned it thus far, for sure. We're too stubborn. Uh, he's one of the best hockey people uh, that I've ever known and had the pleasure to work with. Inside the arena, he was all business. Uh, he always wanted to win in the worst ways, uh, and he always let you know whether he liked things or didn't like things, and I think that's what made him blacky. I think that's why people loved him so much is because uh, if you wanted something sugar-coated, you wanted someone just to agree about a player evaluation, then Blackie wasn't the guy. He was the guy who was going to give it to you between the eyes and made you really think, and then at the end of the day, for the most part, he's probably always right. He was, you know, one of a kind, especially in this industry. He wasn't a guy that was going to throw flowers at you. Um, you know, he told you how it was. You know, I, when I was playing here, I'd always go up to Larry, how am I playing? He said, you're not playing good enough. And he pushed you. You know, he really didn't. When I was coaching, he was always there if I needed help. Um, you know, when I was in Rebel Soak, you know, here, hey, Larry, you got a guy that could be coming to me. He was always there to help me out. He was, you know, kind of a father figure. I would always go to him with personal problems, and he'd help me out. You know, he was... You know, a guy that I'll, I'll miss a lot, and you know, I'm, I'm glad that I have a lot of good memories of him. Though. He's just such a great person. He was always a person that told you how it is. Um, you know, everything was black and white to him. It was never, um, he didn't sugarcoat anything, and I think that's why that made him the, the person that he is. And I've always appreciated my time with Larry. Um, you know, I wish it was longer, um, but I, I wish all the best to his family and the friends and the people that, that were around him. Really appreciated and loved him. You know, certainly Larry was. Uh a tremendous man, tremendous father, um, tremendous family man. I mean, I had the privilege to work with Larry for four years, and um, you know, his eye for talent was second to none. I mean, he was the true architect of, of those teams that we had when we were here, and you know, and that's what Larry did. But but who Larry was was even even more than that. He was such a passionate guy about junior A hockey, about the Vernon Vipers, about the Salmon Arm Silverbacks. Um, you know, the one thing I really took out of it working with Larry is how passionate and how much he cared for the kids and condolences go out to um, his family and we, we dearly miss him.